Peace and love to the family. Peace and love. This is Adrian or AD or Adrian X Myot. That's my Facebook and Twitter. Um, I'm coming at you live. Uh, this is the People's Enrichment Program. This is going to be a short, short lesson because we're uh, scrambling for time. Uh, I want to uh, first uh, thank the ancestors uh, for allowing me to be here and allowing me to uh, be able to teach this lesson today. I need these chairs um, to teach this lesson today. So we're going to talk about the law of divine oneness or the law of one. But before that, we're going to do an African chant here. And um, after we do this African chant, um, we're going to get into the lesson. And uh, it's going to be brief. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you get something out of it. Uh, Carter G. Woodson, let's quickly honor him for uh, starting Negro History Week. If it wasn't for him, uh, we wouldn't have Black History Month. Um, um, Carter G. Wilson is also the author of The Miseducation of the Negro. If you haven't read that book, please do read that book because it's very powerful to black people. And um, it pretty much talks about how when we go to school and we learn um, to be how, how to be, become a, law, uh, a lawyer, excuse me, or a doctor or a businessman or any of the professions that you can think of, we lose out on racial consciousness. We don't work together as a team. We support institutions that don't really support us, and we invest our, all our time and our money with them, versus, and we compete with one another. And he pretty much argues that we need to get out of that mindset, and it's due to the miseducation of the schools that we have been uh, uh, that that has that has been uh, that has indoctrinated us, excuse me, to doing what their best interest is instead of doing what our best interest is, and that's liberating our minds, hearts, and our souls so we can do our due diligence and we can give back to the earth and uh, other people. Uh, so with that being said, let's get into the lesson. Uh, we're going to start off with the African chant. The African chant says, we will remember the humanity, glory, and suffering of our ancestors and honor the struggle of our elders. We will strive to bring new value and new life to our people. We will be loving, sharing, and creative. We will work, study, and listen so we may learn. Learn so we may teach. We will cultivate self-reliance. We will raise many children for our nation. We will have discipline, patience, and devotion and courage. We will live as models to provide new direction for our people. Uh, uh, for our people, excuse me. And then we will win, okay? And then I will say, I say, which means it is what it is, or power, or authority in the Yoruba language. Or I would say also namaste, meaning uh, the light that dwells within me, may it also dwelleth within you. Um, I will also say Yuhuru, which is in Swahili, and that means freedom. Okay, and I also will say Umbutu, which means we are because I am, or I am because we are. Okay? And now let's get into the law of divine oneness. I'm going to read that. The law of divine oneness or the law of one states every soul living and discarnate is connected at the level of the collective unconscious. That means when they say unconscious, that means your subconscious. Okay. All right. Deep within higher self. Okay. Your higher self is in the hats. Remember in, uh, in the ancient comedic language, Nahes means uh, spiritual awakening or spiritual enlightenment, okay? We are a part of a great energy just talk. Just talk is pretty much the piece, the many different pieces or layers that make up the whole, but they're deeper, but it has deeper meaning uh, to make up the whole, to make it for what it is, okay? So that's what the just thought is, and that's called God, okay? God, uh, uh, so... In a great energy just thought called God, and we are a part of God. We are God. It is the goal of the just thought to move the energy forward, creating more energy. So in living harm so in living harmoniously, excuse me, we each increase our vibrational rate and, and intensify the vibration of the entire just thought. When we are 
disharmonious, we decrease, decrease, excuse me, the vibration of the entire just thought because we are one. Everything you think, say, and do affects every other soul. Okay, so you keep that in mind that nobody can think better than you, nobody can talk better than you, nobody can do you better than you, okay? Uh, I'm going to draw something here at the top, okay? This is a representation of what we call the universe. That, that point in the middle is, uh, think of the city of a uh, new, uh, called a new and Kemet, or what the uh, Greeks would uh, call Heliopolis. And that's symbolic to um, uh, the starting point of creation. You are the starting point of creation. Just like in the unk symbol, the unk symbol is like a knot, okay? And then you have the, um, uh, I'm sorry, I messed up, that's up. Okay, let me draw it better. Okay, that's my unk symbol, okay? You know it's an unk. I know it don't look, I ain't no, the best artist in the world, but this is standing, this is for the, this is the gate portal, aka the vagina, of, or the womb of the woman. Okay? And then this is the phallus. Okay? And then this is you. This line in the middle is you, okay, or life. So out of millions and millions of sperm, you were the one that won the race.